Once upon a time, there was a house that had a cat. Now don't be fooled by its cuteness. This cat terrorized every little animal inside and out. All the animals, the ones from the inside of the house and the ones who lived outside, decided to get together and see if they could figure out a way to stop the terrorizing of the cat. They all met together by the plants on the kitchen patio where the door was sometimes left open. That is all of them except the fish. Why isn't the fish here? asked one of the birds. The parakeet replied, The fish isn't here because he can't get out of his bowl, so we thought he couldn't help very much. They discussed many ideas, both good and bad, and finally decided that they were going to try to bell the cat. So they all went looking for a bell. The cricket looked in the bookcase, but there was no bell. The frog looked in the Christmas storage, but they couldn't find a bell. The rat looked behind the trash can, but there wasn't any bell there. They found a bell on Amazon, but when they tried to order it, it said that it would not be delivered until June. I think we need the help of the fish, said the frog. We aren't having any luck without him. So they decided to meet later out by the fish bowl. They met out on the patio where the people had put the fish's bowl on a nice summer day. And the fish told them, once I was kept in the bedroom and there were some wedding things on the top shelf. There might be a bell there. The parakeet flew up to a high shelf in the closet of the bedroom and got the bell. The rat found a bit of ribbon and tied it on the bell. The cricket snatched a packet of sleepy time tea to slip into the cat's food so that the cat would sleep even better that night. When the cat lay down to sleep, the birds sang as sweetly as they could to help the cat drift into a deep sleep. And have pleasant dreams, probably about chasing them. Then the frog snuck up very quietly with the bell. very carefully tied it on the cat. From then on, when the cat was on the prowl, most of the animals had plenty of warning to be able to sneak away. But the poor fish still was stuck in his bowl. Hi, if you felt a little sorry for the fish at the end of the story, so did I. But I'll let you know that I really take very good care of that fish. God bless you.